So good morning. Today is a special day. We're actually going to be documenting um, what it's like to be walking long distance, 2,000 kilometers across um, Great Britain. Now, there were some people in just a moment ago, but uh, they vanished. So how does our day start? Today in the rain. <laughs> Let me just wait a second, get a few people in. No, it doesn't matter really. Um, I did make it. Yes. Oh, don't, don't scramble. Just say good morning. Anyone say good morning quickly so I can get on with this. So today we are going to document how our day goes long distance walking in the UK, doing 2000 miles. So what's an, an average day like? I think this is probably an average day, Michelle, waking up in the rain. Yeah, yeah pretty average. We're going to actually make a series of videos from today, from the morning, all the way through the day to show you what it's like for us. So where have we woken up today? Well, we've woken up at an amazing place. It's a Har Castle uh, tunnel. It's just outside of Stoke-on-Trent. There's the tunnel keeper, the gentleman just there, Dave. And um, there is our little tent, covered in rain, absolutely soaked. Ahead of us is a boat that is actually booked to go through the Har Castle Tunnel. So this, at the moment, with this time of year, people are having to make pre-bookings to go through the tunnel. So we're really, you're lucky. There's only maybe two boats going through a day. Uh, is the sound working? Oh, Lord, I never even thought to ask whether the sound was working. Uh, quickly, just give me a sound check, somebody, if you're in. So let's just see, is the sound working? Anybody going to give me, or am I going to cancel this live stream for you? Because I need to know. Michelle, I'm not sure if the sound is working. Uh, nobody's responding, so I, I could be talking to nobody. One's on. Okay. Yes. You don't want to stand in my... It is bouncing. Yeah. Oh, come on, you lazy lot. <laughs> One person, just tell me whether the sound is working so I can explain to you what's going on here. Sound working? Just type in there. The sound is working. This is a really rare occasion. Only maybe a couple of boats are going through. I'm going to carry on talking and explain to you, but I do want one of you to get off your backsides and type, the sound is working. See this tunnel? What is special about this tunnel is that you cannot walk through it. Michelle will go on and do it if, if none of you can be bothered. So this tunnel... is not wide enough for a towpath and it's about, I think it's a, a couple of miles long. I'm getting no uh, feedback on the sound, Michelle, so I'm probably gonna cancel this if, yeah. but unfortunately. Yeah, I can't see any boat that's going. Um. Well, thank you viewers for coming in and saying nothing. <laughs> you go on and just check. So the day in the life for us is live streaming and documenting everything. And then one or two people coming in and nobody being asked just to help me know whether or not there's a bit of sound coming through. Honestly, it's hard enough getting up at six o'clock in the morning in the dark and making and thinking of doing a, a podcast like this without having to sort of talk to a camera that may not be working. It is working. Oh, well, uh, Michelle's there. Thank you, guys. Lazy bunch of so-and-sos. Honestly, that does annoy me a little bit that there's been three or four people in and nobody can be bothered. So, we wake up in the morning with the risk of being kicked off the canals. Uh, we don't get kicked off because this lovely gentleman, Dave, doesn't mind at all the fact that we are, you can probably see the tent, I don't know if I can zoom, the tent is, is covered in water there. Oh, I was so pleased this morning to get a boat going through. There'll only be one or two boats a day at the moment because of uh, the lockdown. Now have a little look. Those of you that are watching later on, obviously you, you people that are in at the moment, maybe you're trying to comment, I don't know, but at the moment there's nothing I can do. So welcome to Har Castle Tunnel. 
why, you might ask, is the water tango orange? It's because these hills out here were iron ore hills or they were iron mining. Sally, good morning. I'm struggling this morning, Sally. I've, I've had nobody say any comments at all. It's driving me, driving me balmy. And I really want to make a documentary without moaning all the way through it. But we're going to, what we're going to do today, Sally, is through the day, we're going to sort of make a series of videos today. Hi, Amy. Was the sound working? You have to watch from the beginning to see what's going on here. This is, this is an amazing section of canal. The gentleman just walking up there is called Dave. He is the, um, the tunnel master. Or the tunnel keeper. And this canal is the uh, Trent and Merseyside Canal. We've just come onto it. Uh, we were on the Macclesfield Canal uh, most of yesterday. And we've come now onto the Trent and Merseyside Canal. And we're going to be walking today down this canal side. Hopefully it's not going to rain too heavily. Otherwise, Michelle and I just get soaked. There's nothing else we can do. Each day we're walking somewhere around about um, 15 to 20 miles a day. When we first started walking nearly over eight weeks ago, we were probably only doing about 10 uh, miles in each day. But as we've got fitter, uh, we've managed to, to up that. So Sally, Amy, I hope you don't mind us doing another live stream quite so quickly. We are actually going to try and do a full series of live streams today just to let you know how the walk goes and how we progress um, during our day's walk and how we feel. And it might make a little nice documentation of what we're doing, but also it might make something good for Michelle and I to look back at over the day. Last night we met the, the gentleman that stays in the, the old um, tunnel keeper's house up here, um, and they just rent it. It's, it's a privately uh, rented unit now. So how does our morning start? <laughs> it starts by Michelle and I trying to warm up, get all our layers and clothes on. And then, do you want to come and sit with me, Michelle? And we'll, um, you can turn yours off unless you want to. Oh, thank, thank God uh, Sally and Amy came in and commented. I was about to have a kitten. Johnny, Johnny says hi from Australia. G'day. Johnny or Jono? No, Johnny. Johnny. John somebody and then says Johnny from Australia. So most mornings we would sit inside the tent which is just there and we would make ourselves a hot brew of coffee and then we would make a, a, a hot breakfast. Um, in this instance I put hot water in with porridge some raisins, a little bit of sweetener, a little um, maple syrup in there also to sweeten up because we like it, a little bit of powdered milk. And this would be our energy for the morning. <laughs> I'll take that off. It's cooled, it's cooled down a little bit. And in various... Hi, Jelly Duck. Jelly Duck, how are you, mate? In various um, mornings, because I'm, I'm having to judge it all by sort of eye, sometimes it's as thick, you can stand your spoon up in it and the spoon won't fall down. And sometimes like this morning, it's a little bit thinner. But, so we start the morning with something substantial for Michelle and I to try and get some energy into our bodies. Coffee, usually a porridge. Yeah. Sometimes you don't have porridge, and it doesn't. The day doesn't always go so well if you don't have porridge because it's a really good one to start the day with, isn't it? Yeah. Now I will say I'm going to do live streams all today, and um, just to sh let you know how the stages go. We will finish this. We'll pack up the wet tent. The first thing we'll do is take um, a microcloth, and we'll try to dry the surface of the tent over. 
so that at least it's not absolutely uh, ringing wet. Hi, um, good day, Gordon. So um, this is just a, an impromptu thing today, Gordon. I had a bit of a, a meltdown a minute ago because I thought nobody was in, or at least there were people in, but nobody was talking. Nobody was mm. And we had a boat going through. And we? I was worried that I was talking and nobody could hear me. So look, if you do come into a live stream and the person who's creating the live stream asked you to comment, just bloody say, well comment. Just say, hey. Because if you don't, we don't know if the sound is working. So, starting in the morning, we've got to get energy into ourselves. So we need a lot of carbohydrates, a little bit of sugar's quite often good, a cup of coffee to kickstart the engines. Yeah, we're going to pack up the tent shortly. Now it's damp and it's wet. There's nothing much we can do about that. We like to keep the inside part of the tent as dry as possible. Now, if any of you have just joined, do watch back. This tunnel is amazing. In the old days, the ponies used to pull the, um, the barges along the canal and the, the ponies would go over the hill that Michelle and I traveled over yesterday evening. And the, the canal boats themselves, the barges themselves, would have to be manually, the guys would lay on their backs and put their feet against the inside of the tunnel and they would sort of pull the, um, the barge through the tunnel with their feet. And this is, a, I think, about two miles or so, so, does yeah, it say? It's, yeah. a, it's, 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 a, it's a long tunnel. So it would have taken them a good hour or so to get through and it's pitch dark. Nowadays, the tunnel has started to sag a little bit, so only very low boats can go through there. So there's lots of restrictions uh, about, you know, there's a height barrier in there because they're worried that, um, that um, uh, larger boats might try to go through. And that's why there's a, still a tunnel keeper here and only letting people through. Now, he, he was just saying to the guy who went through that he was going through, he said, watch your head, watch your head. Yeah. You go, you know. So you had to duck down to go under the barrier and he said, you know, as you go further through, just watch your head. Right. So we'll pack up. We'll hit the road. There's another boat coming. We might get to see a second one. I don't think I'm going to do a long stream today, though. This is uh, this. I've got to reserve my batteries. The other problem you have as a long distance hiker is if you're trying to do what we're doing, which is to keep sort of socially connected and things, power, <laughs> batteries, it's really hard. Um, we're trying a solar panel power and there's no sun. <laughs> I have a solar panel. Um, but the sun hasn't been out for days again, so we struggle there. Now, I'll just turn the camera a little bit because here's Dave, the, um, the, the uh, tunnel keeper. Jelly Duck said, love the tent. That's one of the comments. Jelly Duck said, love the tent. It's a busy morning, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> there are walking poles, by the way, just in the foreground. So there's another, another boat coming. And there's another boat coming. Now, will he let him through while the other one's still in there, or does he have to I wait to the end? I don't know. There um, is hi also... From Algeria. There, hi from Algeria. There is also some fans now, because it gets pretty... The, the gas builds up in the tunnel, and I think it can be quite dangerous. You know, if there's a gas build-up, they can have explosions in there. So they, um, when the boats go through, there's some big fans that come on. You might have just heard that quieten down now, and it'll suck the air out. So it's, it's really fascinating. But this is about walking today. <laughs> I am going to show you that there's another boat rocking up as well. If you just have a look, and I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see it. So there's another boat coming up who is going to go through the tunnel very shortly. So we may get a chance to film that. And maybe this time I won't be having kittens because none of you are talking to me. All right. We will now walk for at least 10, maybe 15 kilometers. So at least two hours, two and a half hours. Um, when we get to the end of that, I'll make another video to show you how we feel, if we're feeling good, strong. Um, we stop then because we need more food. We need more energy. You're burning up a, a lot of calories. Quite often we have a second coffee then because we only usually have two a day. Yes. And so, if we've got water, which we have today. <laughs> Oh, they're getting into trouble for being late. Oh. So um, here we go. Let's just show you the boat going through. Yeah. 
the Fjord Empress is about to go through. So look. Here they go. Good morning, how are you? How long is the tunnel here? Oh, I can ask that, yeah. All right. One and a half miles, is it, Dave? Eh? So you'll see there's the gentleman ducking his head down. And literally, he's going to have to do that in the tunnel as well, because there are sections of the, uh, the tunnel itself that are, um, that are sagging. And I've been told by one or two of the, the couples that have been through uh, that it's, it's quite a creepy tunnel to go through as well. Quite scary, quite dark, I think. I don't think it's particularly lit that well. So we will walk, we will walk today for, um, I think that's about eight, eight miles or, or no, uh, 10 kilometers is about six miles. Yeah, that's about six miles, then we'll have a stop, we'll refuel, and then I'll do a live stream, we'll have a chat with you about it, and then we will have another big walk if things go well today. If the rain stays off, it'll be great. So this is a day in the life of two crazy <laughs> Aussies that are over here, um, stuck because of uh, lockdown in Australia, uh, doing the long distance walk. Uh, any questions? Um, so yeah, join us in about two and a half, three hours. Yeah, shake a leg. We shake are shake. We, 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 we literally got up this morning at about six o'clock and it's taken us this time <laughs> to get ourselves sort of organized. It's just that it's too wet and cold this yeah. morning. We're a bit slow, but I wanted to do this little series. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Did you take a water filter? Uh, yes, we do. We have a, a water filter, but actually so we've got some really good news about the canals. I'll talk to you about it in the next episode. See us in about in the next in about two to three hours. Well, it'll take us another twenty minutes to tidy up. So in about three hours' time. All right. Love to you. See you, See you next time.